grant her Isaac toast for the first meal of the day. We ordered ham and cheese and cookie and drink. Let's gauge Peter's reaction. Try this then. <laughs> just eat it, just try it. Yeah. Afterwards, we went to shop to rent Korean traditional clothes. It was a very scary day. There were different types of outfits he would choose. He chose the one that was supposed to be a scholar. Peter wasn't so sure about this. But, but what about Lisa's? Lisa looked like a beautiful queen in her outfit. Good, good. And we ran to Gyeongbok Palace. We were in a hurry to arrive on time. Go to the right side, please. Oh, maybe this one. It was time for the Gyeongbok Palace tour. It really was a beautiful place, and the best part was that the tour was in English. Peter was safe for now, but little did he know of the trials that awaited him. He just thought it was extremely beautiful, all the buildings, and the tour guide was really useful in explaining things. The tour really was very interesting. Peter learned a lot about the history of the palace. The trouble was, the day was very hot. Peter was sweating in traditional Korean clothes. Everything in the palace, a building, a painting, a statue, even a little ornament has meanings. We got to learn Korean history and culture during this tour by knowing the meanings of this. We finished our tour here and it took an hour and a half. After taking photos, we got thirsty because it was a very hot day. So we went to Soju Bar in the Gyeongbok Palace to try Korean traditional tea. Ooh. Peter and Lisa decided to try some Omidata and some other tea. And they gave us these tags. They approached the cafe. Peter had to take off his shoes before entering. He still wasn't used to this taking off his shoes business, but he did it anyway. The place was really nice. I felt as if we are a royal family. They went in and they tried the tea. It was the sweetest tea Peter had ever drunk. It was delicious. He loved it. He had fallen in love with his tea. Interesting reaction. The Omita cha really was very delicious. Like Extremely sweet and cold okay. and refreshing. Did you like it?
to see Kong Heru, which Lisa had arranged for Peter. How would you rate this? Out of ten. Eight. They went inside, and it was a lovely view of the water and the scenery. It was one of Peter's favorite parts of the war. He got to learn some about the history of Tom Mary, and he got to see a wonderful view from inside. We arrived here early, so we got to explore Gyeongheru before the tour started. The scenery was so beautiful, so Lisa decided to pick a lot of beautiful and romantic photos of Peter and Lisa together. It was a lovely time, and we perfected his uh, straight back pose. We dropped by a gift shop, and obviously we took a lot of photos and finished our journey in Gyeongbokgung. Peter and Lisa went to Sonia's for dinner. There was a lot of delicious food for Peter to try. He hadn't tried many of these dishes before. He also got to meet lo a lot of Lisa's friends. It was a really wonderful time, and the food was delicious. Especially the dalgi. Peter was really enjoying the dalgi, but suddenly he looked down and they were all gone. He could have eaten all of these. Where did they go? Mm, JD. Mm. However, there were chopsticks. Peter couldn't quite figure out how to use these, and the food kept slipping from them. Thankfully, no one seemed to notice. Eventually, he managed to get the hang of it and to at least try some of the delicious food. It was a wonderful night. 